Hey there my friend, it's Dr. Ray from the Fit Father Project and the Fit Mother Project. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the powerful biological effects and the health benefits of infrared light. And you may have heard of infrared light. It sounds like red light, but it's slightly different. And we're gonna cover what exactly infrared light is, the three forms, near, mid, and far, and the amazing biological effects of this stuff. And I hopefully at the end of this video, I convince you to incorporate more of this infrared light into your life. And you don't actually need any of these gizmos and gadgets, although I do have some, and I'm gonna show you different kinds of stuff you can use. You can actually get it naturally from the sun at certain times. So we're gonna get into all of that. And this video is gonna be a part of a three-part series where I just wanna teach you a lot about light. We're gonna talk about infrared today, but in the part two that's coming up soon, we're also gonna be talking about blue light and green light. And finally, we're gonna talk about UV light, which is also very important for health, vitamin D, but also has some problems with skin cancer. So we'll talk about all of that. Today, let's get into infrared light. FitFatherProject.com So to orient you, I first wanna talk about the electromagnetic spectrum. This is what it looks like. This is the whole different kinds of electromagnetic waves that we find in our ambient environment. The longest waves are things like radio waves. We use those things to communicate, and those waves can be up to 30 meters in their wavelength. So that's huge, right? That's almost like 100 feet in terms of the wavelength of radio waves. And then we have this very small area of light called the visible spectrum. So when you and I are looking with our eyes, we're seeing visible light. And the sun's light that it actually radiates is roughly around 40 to 50% visible light. So what's the rest of the sun's light? Well, around 8 to 10% is UV radiation, and the rest of it is actually infrared light. And what's infrared light? Well, it's light that is longer in wavelength than red light. Red light is the longest wavelength that we can actually see. So when we see like a red apple, we're seeing red light being reflected off of that apple and we can perceive that. Infrared is light that's just slightly longer that we can't actually see, but it has heating effects on the body. So the three kinds of infrared light that you need to know about, the first one and maybe even the most important is near infrared light. This has the closest wavelength to red light. We can almost see it, but it's still invisible. And when we get infrared light of this near kind on our skin, a lot of amazing things happen. First, we found that it can actually regenerate hair. It can help build collagen. It can reduce wrinkles and fine lines. It's really good for anti-aging. So if anyone's out there looking at thinking about their beauty or think about their aesthetics or just wants to make their skin look better, they actually use it to heal acne scars. I mean, this is powerful, powerful stuff. And what I love about the near infrared light is it's safe. You can just use it. And again, we naturally get it from the sunshine, particularly around sunrise and sunset, when the sun looks more red, but we're getting that near infrared right along that time. But you can also get certain devices like these light devices and have it shine on your face for five, 10 minutes a day, once or twice, and you get these anti-aging benefits. What's even more powerful though is this near infrared light actually goes deeper and it penetrates into your, some of your cells in your mitochondria and actually help you regenerate your mitochondria, which are really essential for your aging, for your energy, for your long be well-being. So near infrared light is huge. Now the longer wavelength is mid infrared light. And because this is a longer wavelength than the near infrared light, it penetrates a little deeper. So this is the kind of infrared light that gets into your muscles and your joints. And it's really good if you're looking at improving joint pain, arthritis. They actually did some research studies and they took some elite soccer players and they had a new stretching protocols in an infrared sauna that had some of this mid infrared light or just in a regular room. And they found that they had three times the flexibility gains when they were stretched in the infrared light, the, the mid in particular. Because this is the kind of light that penetrates deeper, opens up tissues, increases blood flow, helps those collagen and elastin proteins get better and stronger. So really, really beneficial if you're looking at improving your fitness, you can get mid-infrared light. Now I'll tell you this, if you go online and you try to like buy different kinds of infrared light devices, particularly stuff if you're like on Amazon, something like a little light panel like this one right here, which I will turn on. So currently it has near infrared on, you can't see it. It has a little red light too, so you can see that. That's not infrared, but that's actually red. These do not have mid-infrared. These are only near-infrared. And I think the only place you can really get mid-infrared light is in an infrared sauna, is typically where you get those. So if you have access to one of those, great place to stretch. Now the last kind of infrared light that's important for you to know is the far-infrared light. So this is the furthest away from that red light. So you could also say it's the most invisible, if you will, type of light. And because it has a longer wavelength, it penetrates even deeper into our cells. And this is why people say that far infrared light is good for detoxification. It penetrates deep. It actually can help our fat cells, which store obviously fatty acids that we liberate during exercise and at rest. We also have fat soluble toxins that get put inside these fat cells. It can help liberate those. So people say it's detoxifying and it's good for releasing those things. It also has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity 
to help people who have diabetes by helping them with greater blood sugar regulation. It increases nitric oxide, which is this powerful signaling molecule that it gives us better circulation. Far infrared light is very, very powerful. So again, in summary, near is very good for like cosmetic, skin, and mitochondrial health. Mid is great for stretching, lengthening, good for muscles, tendons, connective tissue. Far gives you a lot of those benefits of mid, but it's also deeper. So you get the detoxification, greater nitric oxide. But let's talk about how to incorporate infrared light into your life without even needing any devices. Well, guess what? We have this amazing sun that basically supports all the life on this planet. And as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, the sunlight that we see is only about half of it's visible light. About half of it is infrared light. So we can actually get that infrared light by getting outside when the sunrise is coming up and then around sunset, these are really wonderful times to soak up some of that beneficial infrared light. And here's the cool thing, that UV radiation that a lot of us are concerned about because it ages our skin and the particular kind of UV, the UVB that can cause skin cancer, it's really not present in the morning and in, in sunshine. In sunrise and sunset, there's not much UVB or UVA that is really hitting the earth. So it's a very safe time to get outside and get some of this natural infrared light. So that's one simple way. Another way you could do is certainly get inside an infrared sauna. There are more gyms and health clubs and rejuvenation centers popping up now that have these. So certainly you can get in maybe like two, three times a week and do a deep session with this infrared sauna. Very good idea. And then finally, you can go online and buy some of these light panels. I've looked at many of them. Most of them just have red light and near infrared, which is still fine. You're getting benefits, these big light panels. And I'm going to do in a separate video, talk about the benefit of actual red light that you can see. It's quite similar to infrared. It just has some slightly different benefits. But yeah, these light panels are very good. They also do have some far infrared belts. So for people who want to, you know, really get that deep penetrating far infrared light around the core, maybe you want to reduce back pain and stuff like this, they have far infrared belts that you can use as well. Point being is there's so many ways, whether it's products or naturally in the sun, that you can get infrared into your life. And I just think it's important for you to know health is so much more than just the food you eat, the exercise you do, or how you sleep. Light is a huge aspect of life. And if you know the specific kind of lights that work at the right times and how they affect our bodies beneficially, you have so much more power over your health. Light can benefit your health. And just kind of in summary, to share a little bit of history, we've known about this for a long time. NASA has pioneered a lot of this stuff. They started using lights to grow plants in space, and they also started giving astronauts infrared light because it helped their cardiovascular systems. And when smallpox outbreak was happening, there was a physician scientist who actually used near infrared light to help cure smallpox. And he got a Nobel Prize for his work. Point being is we've known this for a long time. It's getting more mainstream now. And I want you to be on the forefront of knowing this stuff and incorporating it into your life. Hope you found this valuable, my friend. This is a really good quick primer on the different types of infrared light. In the next video in the series, we're going to talk about a little higher on that electromagnetic spectrum. We're going to get into the visible light. We're going to talk about red, which is the longest wavelength that we can see. We're going to talk about blue, which is near the shortest wavelengths we can see. And we're going to talk about green, which is right in the middle. Also very valuable. Check out that next part video when that gets released. And of course, subscribe to our channel because you're going to get notified when we publish all these new amazing videos on this whole light series. But of course, everything we have on nutrition, exercise, mindset, sleep, all the success stories, inspiration. Join us here at our Fit Mother and Fit Father Project YouTube channels. You'll be happy you did. I'm so grateful you're here, my friend. This is Dr. A signing off. I'll see you in our next video and I'll talk to you very soon.